Hi there, this is Lynn Allen. Thanks for joining me for another Tips and Tricks Tuesday. I hope things are great in the office or wherever you happen to be. This week we're going to talk about fields. Okay, so not like as in Field of Dreams, but Field in AutoCAD. And I don't know if you've used them before. They're very powerful. They seem to be kind of intimidating, but they're actually really simple to use. And I'm going to show you what I mean by that. So this is a perfect example on the screen of where fields would really come in handy. I have three different rooms. Okay, you have to use your imagination to pretend <laughs> that those are rooms. And I want to place the area information in each of these rooms. I don't want to calculate it myself. I'm lazy. I want AutoCAD to do it for me. And let's face it, AutoCAD's great at doing math, right? Much better than we are. <laughs> so if you take a look on the screen, you'll see that I already have one text string on the screen that has field information. I can tell that that 66.5 is a field because it has a gray background. That's how I know it's a field. Now fields are smart. If I come up here and I make modifications to this boundary, if I come up here and pull that up, that would change the area, right? If I do a regeneration, sure enough, that field will update. Awesome, right? I didn't have to figure it out. AutoCAD did it for me. So I want to place some other text. So I want to add my own fields in here and show you how to do it, all right? So I'm going to go into M text. I'm going to select right about here. It looks pretty good. And I know that I need to change this value to 0.5. And now I'm ready to go. Area equals, okay, this is where the magic happens. I'm going to come up here from the ribbon and select field. Now I know some of you are rebels out there and you're not using the ribbon, not a problem. If you do a right click, you can find insert field from the shortcut menu as well. All right, now this does look a little intimidating, doesn't it? Oh my goodness, look at all this. Ah, oh, scary, scary, scary. Oh, we're gonna make it simple, it's not scary. Let's go down and grab object because we wanna find information about an object, right? I just want to select the object. Let's go ahead and select this area right here. Now if you take a look on the right hand side of the screen, you'll see that it tells me the value already. It already calculated the area for that rectangular area. And you can tell it what type of units you want it to display in. You can show the current units, you can switch to architectural or engineering, whatever makes you happy. I'm gonna actually leave it in decimal and I'm going to change the precision. Maybe I don't want four places to the right of the decimal like my default units are set. I'm gonna switch it to two. And incidentally, if that isn't good enough, you still have other criteria for your format, not a problem. Just come in here and you'll find just about everything that you need. All right, we're going to keep it simple though. I'm going to say an OK, click outside of the M text dialog box. I seem to find that's the fastest way to get out. And there it is. There's my area. There's my field. Let's see if it's smart. Not a problem. We'll come up here and pull this out. How do I update it? Regen, right? And there, sure enough, it is smart. Let's do one more for perimeter and we'll put it in that, that last room on the lower right hand corner, that kind of funky looking room. All right, so go into the text command. I'm going to go ahead and make this a little bit bigger because perimeter is a bigger word. And just to make sure, I'm not sure it has the right value, we'll make sure that perimeter equals. All right, go back into field, right? You're going to do it with me this time. There's object. Let's come up here and grab the object type. That's this guy right here. Grab the actual object I want to get the information from. We don't want area this time though, right? This time we want length. Easy enough. I'm going to leave everything else the way it is. Hit an OK and pick outside the dialog box. All right, did it work? Let's see. Let's make some crazy radical change. <laughs> Undo a regen. And sure enough, it's smart. It calculated the perimeter for us. So we got AutoCAD to do our math. Can't complain about that. Now I'm a little worried that these are going to print with this gray background behind the text. That wouldn't be very good, right? Well, rest assured, the fields, the background does not print. Just to prove it to you, let's just come up here really fast. Let's go into print and we'll do a preview really quickly and you'll see sure enough, they, they look just like regular text, right? There's no difference. Looks great, easy enough. And let me just very quickly go back into M text. On the field, if you do a right click, I do wanna show you that you can continue to edit that field if you need to. You can update it or you can just do a regen. And if you're completely finished with the drawing, you don't want it to be a field anymore for some reason, just say convert field to text and that will actually change it to good old standard regular text. The IQ will drop dramatically. If I change the boundary, it's not gonna update, right? It's not smart anymore. So those are fields. You're gonna give them a try? You should definitely give them a try. They're very powerful. They can be used in so many different situations. And I think that's gonna save you time, which is what it's all about in these tips and tricks. It's helping you be more productive and save time. All right, so enjoy the rest of the week and I am gonna see you back here, promise? 
in two more weeks. Thanks again for joining me.